probably in nine, I can probably actually pinpoint the day, but it began in 1993. Um, when I was pregnant with my third child, there was one of the worship leaders was really goading me to become a worship leader and I was really not wanting to at all. And part of my reason for not wanting to be a worship leader was that I had no kind of grid for female worship leaders. I didn't know a single one. I'd never met one. I'd never seen one. And it wasn't something that I really felt like I had a hankering to do. I was quite relaxed and happy being a singer and a musician on a team. Right. Anyway, this worship leader just kept on me and uh, wouldn't let me go but i was kind of contending with god on it because i, I didn't want to do it mm -hmm. and i remember attending a, a worship conference in british columbia in vancouver and this pretty nationally famous worship leader got up and he had a prophetic word from god and he said you know there's there's a woman here in this room who's really been contending with god that he wants you to lead worship and you're you're resisting him and I want you to come up and I'd like to pray for you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, immediately, I, I felt that, you know, that sense of serious conviction. And I thought, oh, I think that's me. So, but before I got up, I noticed there was like 20 other women that got up too. And I thought, oh, <laughs> so it wasn't me. <laughs> but anyway, I went up anyway. And I stood over at the far end because by now there were so many women at the front. And um, I stood over by the, it was an outdoor tent. I stood over by the tent wall and I thought, well, Lord, I'll, I'll just, you know, have my response time with you here. And and the stage was just kind of at my eye level. And suddenly I opened my eyes. I felt this presence and I saw these feet standing on the stage. And I opened my eyes and it was this worship leader. And he looked at me and said, you're the woman. Oh. So, so he prayed for me. And, you know, something really changed in my heart that day. And, uh, and I agreed. And, and I think um, my whole journey from that point on was, was interesting because I did not have a role model, not one. Oh, yeah. um, and I, I didn't know what that was going to look like. And I didn't, you know, I, I'd seen how men led. <laughs> and I led differently. Um, <laughs> there was a different posture. Um, uh, anyway, it, it, yeah, was, but... it was forging my own path. And so that was... That was just kind of a, an interesting start to it. Really glad the Lord harnessed me in. Really glad that that worship leader, you yes. know, provoked me that day. Um, you know, it's been an interesting journey, learning how to lead worship, learning how to uh, lead a band, right? Um, learning all the ins and outs of what makes a good worship leader, what will really please the heart of God, what will bless and equip a church. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been really an interesting journey. Ended up, you know, mentoring a lot of female worship leaders over the years, right. and that's been a great blessing. So feeling a bit of a pioneer, you know, when there weren't any in, back in the day, mm -hmm. and you know, done some worship conferences and some schools of worship. So that's been a, a real joy to me. Yeah, that's that's really wonderful. To be a powerful story behind, uh, you know, how God. Uh, kind of ushered you into this area. Really oh, glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.